The skies witness, the soil welcomed. When the gardener cruised through the plains, he held the seed and planted it down. The seed, perhaps afraid and unsure, when it was buried beneath the cold and heavy ground. But the gardener knew, had plans, and was excited for the time that is to come. For he knew, yes, God knew, the plans he had for this little seed. Buried a few inches deep, it was bound to outgrow the pit, bound to break the ground that once covered it, bound to see the one, the tender, loving gardener who planted it, bound to bear fruits that others may eat of it. It did not take long before the seed turned into a sprout. And what a beautiful thing it saw when it first came out, the tender, loving gardener. And when it saw, I am convinced, forget, you shall grow. Through the summers, through the storms, through the seasons and so much more, the trunk bent to and fro, leaves and some figs, they let go. Some fell, and others may have decayed. But there was one thing who threw the changes. This man remained the same, the tender, loving gardener. When it was famine, he was patient. When the tree was thrown out, he was kind. When others' trees bore so much more, he never compared. And when the tree was crowned with all sorts of treasures, he bent down and tendered the roots, for he didn't plant the tree just to take its fruits. He loved it entirely. He never left the tree tender. He sees the fruitless worn by seasons of silence. With love, he lifts them up, cradles them in the light. The fruitful, he prunes with precision and purpose, carrying the whisper of a promise, abundant. He hopes, he trusts, he believes in the tree, he waters it in seasons of drought. That's the kind of God he is. The same God yesterday, today, and forever. Faithful when we falter, merciful when we stray, caring when we wander, strong yet so tender. The tree saw how the gardener protected it when it was defenseless from the thieves, helpless from predators. We saw how we were spared, witnessed just how much he cared. He who began a good work in us will continue to perfect it until the very end. Can you see it? The new paths being built in the wilderness of our lives. Streams of hope bubbling up in the wasteland of despair. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Embrace me. Remember the good God has done. Count each one, each turmoil as joy. Proclaim His faithfulness in the present. Step boldly in faith for what lies ahead. Keep them in mind as we gather together to celebrate the faithfulness of our Lord, our Savior, our Master, the beginning and the end, the Lord of Lords, the Mighty One, the Everlasting Father, the One who reigns, Jesus Christ. Thank you.